Good morning, Britain. The hottest day that turned into one of the most dangerous. Fierce fires caused by the record-breaking heat gripped areas of the UK as firefighters fought hard to control blazes, with major incidents declared across the country, from London to South Yorkshire. Here in Wellington, roads are still closed and the emergency services are still on the scene in the aftermath of a blaze which residents say destroyed several houses. And several fires were set across the country in the aftermath of a day which saw record temperatures, 40.3 degrees, reached in Lincolnshire. Could nurses be next to strike? The Royal College of Nursing asked its members to vote on industrial action following the NHS pay rise that's been branded a pay cut by the unions. Yes, the Royal College of Nursing has told its members that it believes this pay rise is a grave misstep and has written to its members across England to vote on strike action, saying quite simply that nursing deserves better. Then there were three. With another Tory leadership vote today, will it be Rishi Sunak, Penny Mordaunt or Liz Truss left to go head-to-head -head as they battle it out for the keys to number 10? With just hours to go, the final three are in a frantic scramble to secure votes and after Kemi Badenoch was knocked out, the big question is who her supporters will choose. And Sir Ian McKellen on why it took him 50 years to reprise his role of Hamlet. So does that mean we haven't seen the last of Gandalf? He's live on the show after 8 o'clock this morning. And after that 40.3 Celsius, yesterday 105 in Fahrenheit, the heat is moving away and the outlook is cooler for many of us. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Wednesday, 20th of July, 2022. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ranbir Singh and Ed Balls. Good morning. It's just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. Well, 34 places across the country exceeded yeah. the hottest record. And this time yesterday, we...